Good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to learn how to leverage DBCM and Kafka Connect and bring CDC events from Postgres real time into the Kafka topic. From there we're going to ingest this data into ClickHouse by using replacing merge tree. So this video is jam packed with hands on uh, exercise so without wasting any further time let's begin the exercise. So just a quick note we're going to be building this particular architecture. Uh, insert update deletes would happen on Postgres. We'll leverage DBCM and Kafka Connect to capture those CDC events, bring that into the Kafka topic, and then we're going to be leveraging ClickHouse uh, to query that uh, data real time. And in ClickHouse, we're going to be using replacing merge tree. So I hope you're excited. So now let's begin the hands on lab. All right. So the first step is we need to spin up the stack and we, we're going to be leveraging Docker for that. Okay. So I have a Postgres container here, a DBCM container, Kafka UI, Zookeeper, Kafka, Schema Registry, and a single node ClickHouse uh, container over here. We need to spin all of this container up. So I will uh, navigate to my project directory, ls minus l. Here you can see I have my docker compose.yml. Now spin up the stack, okay? So we're gonna say docker compose up hyphen hyphen build minus t. This will take a little time because there are a lot of containers. So give it a couple of uh, probably minutes and all the containers will be up and running. So I'm bringing up my Docker desktop as you can see. Uh, six containers are currently in the running state and the ClickHouse is in the created state. I can simply restart over here if the container did not start properly right. So now here you can see all the seven containers are up and running. Now let's verify that uh, we're gonna open up Chrome uh, and you can head over to localhost 8080 where we will see our Kafka Connect UI. I can see one cluster is online, lovely. If I go to topics, I can see there are no topics at the current point. So it looks like our infrastructure is up and running and now we'll proceed to the next step. All right, so step number two is we need to create a sample table in Postgres so we can bring that data into ClickHouse, right? Via Kafka and DBCM, right? So I have this particular script inside SQL script. Come here, copy this, okay? And then open up your PG admin, okay? And simply paste this one here. So I'm gonna first create the table, execute that, okay? Here you can see the table has been created. And then uh, I will first set, uh, if you can see probably, right? Alter system set walls level to logical. I'm gonna set the walls level to logical. Done, cool. And then I'm gonna insert three records into in, in, into Postgres, right? So done, cool. And now let's verify, select everything from, uh, I would say users, okay? And then if I run here, okay, I have three records in the Postgres. So stop the video, pause the video, do these steps with me so that you can learn it, okay? So step two, insert some data into Postgres, okay? All right, so the next step now is we need to create a DBCM connector and we are gonna be leveraging the following curl command. Again, it's given inside the folder DBCM. So the connector class we're gonna be using is io.dbcm.connector.postgres.sql.postgres.connector. Uh, uh, that's, the, 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 that's the class we're gonna use. We're gonna provide the username, the password and the host name. Host name is Postgres because we are running inside a Docker container. But if you are running on AWS, it will be probably an IP address or a domain name. Port is gonna be 5432, okay, so that's clear. We are bringing data from public schema and the table is users. And then one more important uh, setting that I wanna cover is this. Transform unwrap type to io.dbcm.transform.extract new record state. So what this does basically in simple language, I'm on the uh, DBCM uh, website. So in simple words, the DBCM record would look something like this, right? You will have a source and op, which is U. U stands for update. I think C stands for insert probably. And then you'll have a before and after copy, right? So when you use this class, uh, for example here, after event flattening, SMT processes the message in the previous example. It simplifies the message format resulting uh, resulting in the message in the following example, right? So it will basically simplify that, right? So here you can see, uh, oops, you have a field one, right? And, and, and then, then you have a field two, right? And then in the after section, you have it, right? So it's gonna apply uh, that uh, processing and it's gonna simplify the message format, right? So that's that. So, okay, cool. Now copy this, uh, <clears throat> come here, okay? And uh, we'll clear the terminal, I'm gonna, fire this command. Here you can see the connector has now been created. Now, if we go to Kafka uh, UI, Kafka Connect UI on localhost 8080 and refresh, right? 
within couple of seconds we should see a new topic called users public probably public postgres or public dot users so i'm just going to wait for a couple of uh, seconds and see if that topic uh, shows up right so let me go to topic yeah the connector looks good so let's just refresh so i'm just going to wait for a couple of seconds to uh, so 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 that uh, you know it's going to start processing right so here oh there you go public dot okay postgres dot public dot user messages here you can see i have three messages right message one message two message three these are avro message right and here also i have three messages right so we are getting the changes uh, from the postgres into the kafka topic right now let's take a look at the clickhouse part right so first of all pause the video right here do this step and now we're going to proceed to the next part so keep pausing the video okay all right so it's time to do the clickhouse part right so i will exec into the container with the following command docker exec minus it clickhouse is the name of the container and i'm going to launch clickhouse client so i do that i can see the clickhouse shell i can say show databases and you will see all the database that you have now in the file i have given you click.sql so first we're going to create a database called kafka then we're going to use the database kafka show databases right here you can see that kafka hope hopefully uh this should be better right the font size all right so now uh show tables we don't have any tables right so the first thing that we're going to do is uh, uh we are going to uh, create create a, 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 a source table right so kafka underscore underscore user right and here you can see engine is set to kafka here is my broker list here is the topic that i'm interested right uh where is that here right postgres dot public dot user right hopefully so going back so that's that right and then the the kafka format is going to be uh, avro confluent because uh, there are avro avro messages right and we're going to provide the schema registry url okay cool okay so let's rock and roll okay so i have created that so show tables lovely fantastic and now i'm going to create a sync or, or a target table called user right so i'm going to copy that okay cool and now i'm going to create a materialized view right so here you can see create materialized view kafka dot uh, consumer underscore underscore user to kafka dot user so basically what it does is basically it's going to take data read from here and then it's going to move into this particular table right that's a materialized view right and here you can see the select query right so let me execute hopefully it will make sense right so i just did that now let me probably query this uh, data so i'm gonna go to user i'll just write a quick sql select everything from user um let me just do kafka dot user here you can see one two three records right fantastic right so uh, uh the materialized view as new events come into the kafka topic it's gonna make uh, it's gonna sync our table right so now let's do the fun part right the fun part is okay well let's update something and see if that uh, changes are being flown flown into like you know click hours right so i'm going to add three stars i'm going to click okay and i'm going to save this record into postgres okay so i have made that update so if i query this table again oops uh looks like the changes uh, I, I, let, let, let me just do it again so i'm going to come here 1 2 3, 3 just click and then save so now i've saved that record into postgres now if i query it back i can see that new update over here so this update should have flown uh, into the kafka topic at this point uh, oops oops i'm sorry here i think uh, as you can see the new message did uh, come here now the question is we're going to query click us and see if everything uh, looks good right so this user one i what, what do you expect it should be star 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 right so let's query that as you can see right that new item uh, came in and again you will say hey why is it like this and this so remember um, again since i i i did lot of data like right so similarly it will uh, so the updates will be written they call it like part file but i'll i mean i'll call i'll use the uh, data lake house term right so updates are written in a log file and later on compacted right so similarly right uh, similarly same thing happens so there is a command you can force probably compaction you can say uh let me copy this one
I will fire this command, optimize table. Okay, cool. And now if I query the same data, here you can see, right? The updates are compacted. Lovely, right? So inserts made in, updates that you do are doing on Postgres, data, that's also coming in. Uh, in the next video, maybe, uh, you know, down the line, I'll show you some aggregates or some, so some, some amazing stuff out of it, right? So in this video, what you learn is, okay, how you can leverage uh, uh, Debesium, uh, Kafka Connect to bring data, CDC records from Postgres into Kafka topic and then ingest that into uh, ClickHouse. And now the code, the labs, the steps, I will upload that on, on LinkedIn. This usually takes time because I have to, you know, write the content and content takes a lo long time, right? So I will do it shortly. So you will, uh, you will see on the video, this video that I'm recording. Later on, I'll add the link, uh, GitHub links and, 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 and the blog links. So thank you so much for watching the video. And if you believe I've done a fantastic job, all I ask you in return is simply like, share and comment. With that being said, keep smiling, keep programming and I'll see you in the next video.